G'day, my name's Tech, this is my channel Bootlosophy, and I'm going to wax these uh, Echo Vitrus 2 boots. The only problem is I have to find a place to do it in because I was told by a friend recently that you can't put boots and shoes on a table because it's going to bring you bad luck. And no, you can't put them on your bed either because apparently the bad luck still applies and the bad luck is that you're going to be arguing with someone all day. As for a desk, apparently a desk is the same as a table. Go figure. So how am I going to take a video of me waxing these boots and totally destroying them or taking them up a notch by about a scale of 10? Okay, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to do them right here. Look, I know, I heard all of that. Look, I don't need your advice. Just leave the room and shut the door. Otherwise, we're going to be arguing all day, all right? So what I'll be doing today is uh, attempting to either take these up a couple of notches in coolness or potentially the other outcome is I'm going to destroy them. These are the Echo Vitrus 2 Chelsea boot in a tan suede. I've already done a review of them and if you want to have a look, uh, I'll put a, a link up there in one of the cards. Uh, it's not a bad boot. Um, it's not resolable. It's a thermally injected sole. Um, really a, a pretty good boot. The only thing is, I guess I bought these, I wanted this tan suede, before I knew all about Goodyear welting. And uh, since I bought these, I've got these. The R.M. Williams Chelsea boot in tobacco suede. So being very similar, I thought what I'd do is maybe try and wax and burnish these so they look like rough out waxed suede Chelsea boots. Let's give it a go. So the theory of what I'm going to do is I'm going to wax uh, this suede. It's, it's uh, not the best suede. It's extremely short nap and uh, almost new bucky in feel rather than suede. So it'd be interesting how the wax tamps it down. The theory of what I'm going to do is uh, put in a couple of different shades of brown to darken uh, the suede in the various wear points, particularly the toes and the heel and along the side and up the vamp, uh, and then wax the whole thing uh, and then uh, put in a thicker layer of wax along the so-called wear points um, which when they sort of kind of scrape off might give it a good patina. So let's see what I need. Um, I've got a tin of good old-fashioned kiwi light tan, a tin of uh, dark tan, a tin of kiwi's dubbin wax, which um, I'll be using to coat the whole thing. And then uh, as, a, as a crowning glory, I'm going to use this Otto Wax fabric wax, which I use for waxing my uh, wax jackets and canvas bags and so on. And I'm going to do that around the toes and heel and maybe around the sides to give it a bit of uh, a look for wear. So the idea behind the two tones of polish is it gives it a little bit of a burnished look. And in order to do that, I'm really just going to apply it with a piece of cloth. But I'll also have, perhaps in some places, I'll use a, a, uh, 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 an application brush. And I also have a suede brush, which at the end of it, I might sort of brush it along and uh, give it a bit of a, a nappy look. Now, I'm not going to take you through the agony of doing both boots. I'm probably going to speed up and cut through some of what I'm going to do. So um, let's begin. So the first um, layer of wax I'm going to put on with, with basically a cloth in my fingers is the Kiwi Dark Tan. And I'm going to apply it uh, to the toes and to the heels to give it, to create a sort of look of uh, waxed flesh and, and a slight burnished look. So here goes nothing. I'm basically rubbing it in in circular motion, making sure I get each corner um, and it doesn't look too patchy, at least for this color. The whole idea of the burnishing I think is I'm going to make it look quite patchy but in areas where it's supposed to look a bit worn 
and scratched over. So I'm going to do the heel as well. And what I'm trying to do is not leave a white mark anywhere where there's a seam or maybe uh, near, the, uh, near the, the joint to the sole. I'm then going to sort of work it along some of the high points and where it looks like the original dark colour uh, hasn't had a chance to rub off. Okay, now I'm going to change over, that was the light tan, I'm now going to change over to the dark tan and put on what looks like a darker layer where it counts before I continue with the lighter tan up the vamp. Going back to the light tan, let me just change the positioning of the cloth. Back to the light tan, I'm going to give it a light coating up the vamp. Next, I'm going to use the Dubbin Wax, which is basically a clear wax and a bit of a waterproofer. Um, it's quite an oily kind of wax. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a tension where none of the coloured waxes had got to. Okay, so that's the work in progress. If you compare that to the untreated boot, it's definitely darker. And I think I'm going to top up some of the dark, um, dark tan wax along here because it's a bit uneven. And then back to the dubbin wax. Some of these lighter areas that need damping down. Now what I'm going to do is try and um, blend it in a little bit with the suede brush. And there's a wax flash kind of look. It's still quite nappy. So I think I could go even more with the dub and wax to hold it down. Right. Now the next step. So I've lit a little candle, uh, which I can melt my Otto Wax fabric wax in order to put it around the toe uh, and heel area. So I'm just going to gently get this nice and melted, and then just put it on. I'm going to try and put on light layers so they don't um, crack. Right, I think that might be enough actually. I'm just going to sort of rub these in, this, this layer of wax in, so it doesn't sort of stand out in thick clumps. Clean some off the sole edge. feels nice and waxy. I think I might just put a bit more on. And then I'm going to finish it off with another layer of um, another layer of uh, dub and wax. And we'll call that finished on this boot. Back to the dub and wax. I think it might be enough for that boot, and I'm going to do the other side now. I'll clean it up uh, once I've done both sides. Obviously, a clear difference. So let's do the other side, and then we'll see what it looks like.
So here's the finished product in the sun. Um, how does that look close up? Looks nicely waxed. They probably need a little bit of brushing just to blend it in. But I actually think that's not too bad. It looks a bit more like waxed flesh. And I can probably get away with it under a pair of jeans. So, bad luck, or not bad luck, I've completed my uh, waxed flesh Echo Vitrus 2 Chelsea boots. They don't look too bad. Um, you know, they're not going to compare against Java waxed flesh. But in and of itself, I think I can get away with it looking like it's waxed flesh. I might um, let the wax uh, dry a little bit, give it a bit of a wipe, and I might even put in another layer um, just to seal that colour in. But at the moment, it doesn't look too bad at all. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, it's up to you. Put down in the comments below whether you think I've absolutely destroyed these Echo Chelsea boots, whether I've made cheap boot boots um, look a little bit nicer. And if you thought this was a bit funny, if you thought this video was a bit mad, click on the like button below. And if you haven't already, how about clicking on the subscribe button? I'd love to have you follow this channel as I bring in proper boot reviews. I'll see you soon.